<clears throat> Thank you, uh, Mr. Leader. Uh, I want to talk about the Kigali uh, uh, Treaty which amendment, which we're voting on as we speak. Uh, American refrigeration and air conditioning manufacturers have defined the global industry standard for decades. Our companies have the competitive advantage over those in China and India, which have doubled down on yesterday's technology. American businesses have been clear. It's time to phase down antiquated chemicals, known as HFCs, which American manufacturers want to leave behind. They have been investing billions of dollars to develop new technologies, alternatives to HFCs, and they've done so in ways that will ultimately decrease costs for consumers. That's why in a few moments the Senate will begin the process to provide advice and consent to ratifying the Kigali Amendment, the fifth technical update to the Montreal Protocol, the hugely successful international treaty to protect the ozone layer. A treaty amendment that passed the Senate Foreign Relations Committee by bipartisan voice vote. A bipartisan voice vote. We don't generally pass treaties in the committee, and we don't generally do it by voice. Ratifying Kigali will ensure American companies dominate export markets into the future. It will also weaken the market in the United States for imports from China and elsewhere. It will generate thousands more domestic manufacturing jobs, according to industry estimates. We're talking about $4.8 billion annually of increased exports, $12.5 billion of increased economic output every year. And the only way to keep our businesses from being locked out of the global markets uh, is to pass this amendment. U.S. businesses that employ tens of thousands of people across the country need to be able to sell their products in key countries. So it's no surprise that manufacturers all over the country, in states like Wisconsin, Texas, and Kentucky, all support Senate approval of Kigali. There's been an outpouring of support from the business community, including major employers like Walmart, Carrier, Train, Lennox, and others. The National Association of Manufacturers, the Chamber of Commerce, they all support this practical and bipartisan action. This is a win for American competitiveness, a win for American businesses that set the standard internationally, a win for our national security and leadership on the global cha uh, stage, and it's critical for the United States to join the 137 other nations that are already party to the Kigali Amendment so that the United States can reap the economic benefits associated with ratification and protect U.S. business interests. If we do not ratify, we lock our companies out internationally from being able to sell the more advanced product that they have created that can lead to thousands, tens of thousands of new jobs in the United States, billions of dollars in economic activity. Uh, if we want to beat China, this is another dimension of beating China, pass the Kigali Treaty. Thank you, Bob. And now our hero 